to ship some calves this morning. We uh, headed to the farm up the road where the stock of calves are with a little feed, even got a little hay. Got them used to coming into the catch pen, eating out of the feed bunk. I've um, been doing that with them for the last several days. So just praying they all cooperate one last time. We'll have them caught and ready to load. So the plan is get these calves caught. We're going to sort off, um, I believe, five head, pick out uh, the four smallest of the steers, and then, uh, of course, that one heifer, she's not being sold. And have the rest of them ready to load. Um, truck driver got here late last night, got him parked um, just up the road from the pasture. Um, didn't want him right there waiting as we were trying to catch him. Um, those calves would obviously know something's up and smell a rat. But uh, get them then loaded, um, sent up the road, then uh, kind of a few more chores to get done this morning. If all that goes smoothly, which again, fingers crossed, go grab a stock trailer, move those five that we're not selling back to the house, and then grab the ones we weaned last weekend, those 15 head move them back down here where they're gonna spend the winter um, on our stocker pastures basically. Um, just where they'll be uh, well away from their mothers. But anyway, we'll see, uh, we'll see how closely that plan actually plays out. Uh, looks like we got a lot of calves out there. It's a good sign. Get them counted, be sure they're all here and see if we can get them in the pen. All right, so they're darn near impossible to count whenever they get wall wadded up like this but just on a quick scan looks like most everybody's here so we'll try to get a head count and uh make sure of that oh boys let's eat let's eat a little breakfast come on all right well things have not exactly gone according to plan so we're counting in the pen we were five short and I kept counting and I was still five short. So thankfully I did find the five rogue ones. Um, you might can see them coming there. And they are, they were happy to see me in the truck. So that was a good sign. They just, I don't know, they were foraging for acorns or something in the woods doing something, but just super frustrating because, and I mean, just true to form, we've had every one of these calves in the pen the last few days ready to eat right at 7 a.m. and this morning the day we need to ship them yeah five head just you know off to themselves but there they are let's see if they follow so come on boys come on Woo! let's go eat so i mean worst case scenario these calves aren't selling until tomorrow i have a few that I, we can't get on the truck this morning we can trailer them you know just our stock trailer tomorrow really don't want to do that because uh, yeah, we're already gonna have a truck here I'd like to get everything on there it's about a three hour drive I, we're gonna go watch them sell but I had no intention of dragging a trailer up there myself so um, again fingers crossed again for about the eighth time today that maybe we can get something to go correctly here in the next few minutes tricks gonna be not letting other ones out of the pen as we try to get these in um, my brother, I went ahead and called him. He was just up the road. I was ideally waiting until I got him caught, but um, he should probably be here. Yeah, I think I see his truck up there now, but let's see if we can get these last few in. Alright, there they go. Uh, 
didn't really get any footage of us loading them. We just didn't have enough extra hands. Got kind of flustered with and frustrated with those that didn't cooperate with us. But anyway, we got, I guess, 63 head loaded, headed up the road. All right, and you'll see there are, well, the one on the right there is number 13. He's one we were not planning on selling just because he's so small and not a very good looking steer. But those other three were we really wanted on the truck. So we've got options. The idea was we were going to keep exactly four to feed out. But those other three are three of the better steers. We like to send our best ones, our heaviest ones up the road. We keep the smaller ones back to put on feed because we'll grow them out as big as we want to there. I don't know we'll kill day. So sales not until 11 o'clock tomorrow. We're going to leave about 8 o'clock in the morning to get up there. If I can get these caught between now and then, may uh, put them on the stock trailer, haul them up there, and then just have them cut back our three smaller ones back home with us. But as you can see, they're really not too interested in having anything to do with me right now. So odds of us catching them in the next 24 hours, less than 24 hours now, I really would have to have them caught by the evening if it's going to work aren't great so whatever it is what it is that's the worst problem we run into all year in stock of calves i mean it is what it is we'll be all right good morning shaping up to be another really nice day here in west tennessee uh today is saturday we sold the stocker steers yesterday i guess you last saw us two days ago we we loaded them up and shipped them off um, they did pretty well. We, we were happy. They averaged overall 841 pounds, brought right at $1.33 per pound. So pretty happy with that. We, we made money this year, so we, we're not going to complain there. Um, one other thing we did yesterday on our way back home, we stopped and got um, some Prolix, um, liquid feed, um, protein supplement essentially. Something we like to do for the cows during the wintertime when they're eating um, just the grass hay, which is going to be protein deficient for their diet the um one of the challenges with us having cows here in extreme west tennessee you know not cattle country our farm stores co-op don't carry products like this and so when we do go east we you know and going through some of those areas that are catered a little more to cattle when we stop and get uh things like that that we need so we picked that up we're going to put it out show you show you kind of how we feed it how it works maybe talk about it a little more um thankfully it's still really nice and dry so we can just drive pick up out in the pasture um, later on in the year we'll have to use a tractor to do that but we'll uh probably get mobbed by the cows as soon as we pull in just one wondering what we're doing and then once they figure that out they they do really like it but we'll do that and kind of show you a little more about it but as I kind of predicted, starting to gather a crowd. But the way this works, and we're filling it up now, call this a lick wheel feeder. And cows come up, lick on these wheels here, as the name implies. You can see it there, coating that wheel. That's how they get what they want. Two, you know, wheel on each side of this thing. Um, the, uh, you know, and then, of course, I can't get a whole lot doing it like that. You know, they don't really need a lot. Um, it's 35% protein. Um, I'll show you kind of what it looks like kind of there. It looks kind of like molasses, very much molasses based. Try to this without making a huge mess. Yeah, I've raised the hose up too high. Got a seed on in there. But. Um, yeah, Prolix is the name of it, and uh, that's kind of how we supplement them protein during the wintertime. Some of you like lick tubs. Lick tubs are nice. I found this is a little more economical. Um, we filled this up, brought it home about 250 gallons yesterday, and for our 35 to 40 mama cows that we'll have through the winter, it's um, we'll have to maybe get another couple hundred gallons to get us through and once we're no longer feeding hay um, we don't need it anymore once they're back to grazing but anyway just another one of those little things getting one more chore checked off to the do list um, we had to go ahead and do this too because you get this out of the back of the truck because we need to shuffle some cattle around this afternoon 
we're going to move our wean calves that we worked in our previous video, which was a week ago today, to farm up the road where the stocker calves were. We're going to bring home the, I guess, the five that we didn't sell. Um, the one heifer we're going to put out over the cows and the, the four steers we're going to put on feed. But, and there you go. They're giving you a demonstration right now as to how the look wheel works. The calves from born earlier this fall have figured out the creep feeder. And then it looks like we have a cow. Yeah, she is cheating. Whoa, 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 whoa. No need to get upset. Sticking her head through there. Cheating. Need to fix that side of the creep feeder up like we have this one. Just very simply, we've got these wire panels that we cut and zip tied on there. They do the same thing over here. Well, they can't stick their head through there and try to steal some feed. All right, so we got the liquid tank out. Got the stock trailer hooked up, backed up here. Let's see if we can move these calves. Everybody, go on in there. All right, here we go. Here we go, come on. Come on, I'm gonna shut this gate. Y'all gotta get on that trailer. Come on now, there we go. There we go, follow the leader. Come on, babies, there we go. More like it. There we go. Y'all go on. Go on, step up there, big boy. Go on, go on, babies. Come on, good grief. All right, y'all tighten up. We're going to put the horses on the back. Step on up. Step on up. Walk. Remember, you gotta get it on this side. Over here. And kind of as we expected, of course, we had those four caught yesterday. But old number 13, the, the one steer that looked the worst, didn't really do that well this year. He's still not up here. So that's why we brought the horses so I can go retrieve him. We're gonna get these four moved into here so we can shut them up and then open this up where we can bring him in here with the horses. Our roundup turned out to be not much of a roundup. The uh, one calf we were missing is actually back there dead. So, is what it is, it sucks. Uh, he was the odd ball out all year, kind of the one that drug behind, wasn't doing really well. Um, wouldn't really gain any weight. We knew we weren't gonna be able to sell him, not yet, with the way he looked. Um, didn't expect him to die. Uh, yesterday, he, he looked okay yesterday, I mean, relatively speaking, uh, especially compared to this morning. But I don't know, anytime you buy, you know, sell barn calves like that, have them all year, you're going to have some death loss. Uh, just kind of stinks and weird. Now it's the end of November, we've had him since I think March the 6th, maybe. He was in the very first bunch we bought. So, but uh, anyway, it is what it is. Roundup turned out to be not much more, just a trail ride. But Kimber did great. How was it, babe? Good. Did you have fun? Yes, I was coming back and getting cancer. I saw that. Was she a good girl? Yeah? Good job. What, what, what All right, we're just going to unload these wean calves. We're going to keep them in here just for the rest of the day, maybe tonight, and turn them out. Uh, they've been weaned off their mamas for over a week now, but we to be sure they stay. Hold on, Kimber. Come on, babies. Come on, babies. There we go. Go on off, babies. Go on off, babies. Go on. Oh, I'm just chucking the water off. There we go, babies. There we go, Brittany. Watch out, Britt. Last one. One of the bottle caps. Come on, sir. There we go. 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 There we go. There we go. Go on, baby. 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 Go 
on it. Yeah. Obviously too tall for this trailer so it works. Just got done putting out a little hay for the cows but uh, that'll probably about wrap it up for this video. Got a lot of little things done I guess. We uh, I guess starting out loaded those stalker steers got them shipped off. Apologize for not getting better video of that or really any video of us actually loading them just um, with a few little things that went wrong we got frustrated with the ones that didn't allow themselves to be caught and then just didn't have an extra set of hands but then got them sold yesterday this morning got those few that we didn't get caught moved back up here put up there and what's our small little feed lot where we'll feed them to finish this winter moved our wing calves down to that farm where they'll spend the winter uh got a little hay put out for the cows got our prolix um put in the lick wheel feeder so a lot of little things done um as we again we get ready you would know it from the temperature today i think we're gonna be 70 degrees but trying to get ready settled in for the next few months of just feeding the cows and whatnot but anyway we'll we'll have a video probably our next one kind of featuring the feeders and how we do that how we feed them and kind of our setup um, nothing nothing too fancy we're gonna have seven or eight to feed out this year total but anyway as always we uh remind you to hit the like and subscribe button share it and we remind you to eat beef and God bless.